Hi. You know, one thing I'm noticing about this getting old thing is that you're leaning on things all the time. You know, I'm learning to lean on things. Uh, I grab doors and, and I and I lean on them and I lean on, uh, uh, well, I don't have that yet, uh, the, the thing, but I do, but I do lean on a lot of things. I lean against walls and leaning on things. And I'm seeing lots of you folks are folks at Bellevue Heights, uh, they're leaning on stuff. And, and I always ask a couple when they come in, are you guys holding hands because you love each other or because you're trying to hold each other up? <laughs> anyway, uh, that's funny, I thought, but it's not so funny. Because really, the truth is, we need to learn to lean on each other and we need to learn to lean on God. You know, Jacob, back in... Uh, uh, oh, it's Ephesians, uh, Genesis 35, I think it was. It talks about Jacob not trusting God. And so then, and then in Hebrews 11, it talks about Jacob leaning on his staff. Well, he's older now. And uh, so let me tell you something. Learning to lean is important. If you learn to lean on the things of God and the, the things that God has for us. So trust the Lord. Jacob did trust that that Isaac was going to give him the birthright. So he tricked Esau into it. And uh, anyway, it, I mean, he tricked, he tricked Jacob, Isaac into giving him the birthright uh, instead of Esau, but it, it, it all worked out. God was going to do it anyway, but I'm telling you what, it's better to learn to lean on the Lord. You don't have to reap all that stuff. Like Jacob had to reap a bunch of stuff because it took him 20 years in the wilderness uh, before he could, Esau could forgive him and all that stuff, and he did, which uh, which praise the Lord for that. But it created a lot of trouble. Learn to lean on the Lord, would you? Okay, good. Thanks. See ya.